How you doing? Doing well. How about yourself? I'm good. Where, where are you living now? What are you doing? I actually am in Bentonville now, okay. and uh, I get the opportunity to work with young kids on their swings and their baseball career. So I uh, actually retired about a year ago, and now I'm still kind of getting to do something I love. So it's been a it's been a pleasure to be able to do it. So you're basically doing individual coaching, or what? yeah, I get to work with kids individually on their baseball games through their swing, uh, the mental part of the game, and a lot of different aspects. I'm getting to been doing it for about a year now, so I'm kind of getting to see them grow as players and develop and get better themselves. How come you just like living, like when you're going to school here, you want to come back to this area? Or? Yeah, when I came here, I thought, man, this is a great area. And then I met my wife, who is from Bentonville, and uh, their family's there, and it's just a really nice place. I'm really close to the university, so it's just, it's almost just like home now. So it's been great for me. You followed these last two years team pretty closely. Not as close as I probably should have, but man, it just seems like Razorback baseball has just really taken off. And it, you know, Dave Van Horn and the staff just done an awesome job with everything they've done. And it's been, man, baseball is just like one of the main sports here. So it's been, it's been great. You get to go to many games. Or? This will be the first one I've been to in a while because I just retired last year, and uh, it's going to be fun to watch them play Tennessee tonight. Obviously, you had a great career here. You were a high draft pick, but. You know, baseball, it's hard to get to the majors, kind of. What, what, what's that professional baseball journey been like for you? Uh, I had a good run at it. I fell short of where I wanted to be and the expectations that were set out for me. But, you know, I gave it everything I had. I had some injuries along the way that uh, didn't help my cause. But uh, there towards the end there, I just, me and my wife decided and prayed about it and thought that it was about time to probably hang them up and pursue a different career. And it's been a pleasure so far uh, getting to work with some young kids in this area. Still keep up with Todd Butler and two or no? Yeah, I do my best to keep up with as many people as I can. Uh, you know, it's seeing all these guys here is kind of makes me feel bad for not keeping up with all of them because you know the the years, the two years that I was here, you know, we grew to love each other and play with each play uh, play games together and had a great, obviously a great 2009 year. So it'll, I'm sure I'll keep up with them better now, especially. Who came back from this 2009 team? We had a really good turnout. I mean, there's only players that are in the major leagues right now that didn't quite make it. So we had 2009 team had an awesome turnout. I thought. I'm not sure how many exactly. Trying to outdo Vitell over the <laughs> Man, I actually trimmed it up before I got here, so uh, it's a little shorter than what it was. It, you know, 2009. It's hard to believe it was 10 years ago. I mean, it is for me. What, what's it like for you? It is hard to believe it was 10 years ago, and uh, when you see faces you haven't seen, and for me, nine and 10 years. It's, uh, it's hard to believe it's been 10 years, you know, but man, it just brings back all the great memories. Was it cool, to, like you were just talking to Kevin, is it cool to get to interact with the 79 team too? Absolutely, because when I was here, you know, you hear names like that, um, but you don't always get to put a face with a name. You don't always get to meet them and just getting to run into them and hearing about, you know, you feel like 10 years was a long time ago. Hearing their stories is just awesome to hear. They all have a lot of stories as well, just like I feel like I have a lot of stories. They have a lot more than I do. What was that run like for you guys to get to Omaha and to do some of the things you did? You know, it was said best in the morning because we had our, our time in the morning. It was a roller coaster because most people remember from that year, we go into the season unranked. We're one, ranked number one in the middle of the year, and then we lose so many games, we're unranked again, fighting for our lives, and we come out with a, with a World Series finish. So, uh, man, it was just one of those years. You, I think the fans of that year will never forget and we'll never forget either. You said you had some injuries. I guess I wasn't aware. What, what injuries were you battling when you were a pro? Uh, I had the back problems that carried on all the way through my pro career. And then I had the really bad concussions and then the hamstring injuries that just seemed to plague me through my entire career. Were concussions were those from plays like at second or getting hit? No, I, uh, man, they were just, I got hit in the head with 96 and 94 back to back days and I got a pretty bad concussion. And, uh, man, it really affected, uh, I actually went to a guy in Pittsburgh, it really affected my vision and my, just because when you get a concussion, it injures part of your brain, which, and what he found out with me, it injured part of my depth perception with my eyes. So that was a big part. And I had to rehab that throughout my whole career just to help. With being able to see better, so. Not early in your pro baseball career. I was in 2012. Do you think maybe that had a lot to do with you not making it to the big leagues? Man, I don't. I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. I didn't make it because I, you know, I didn't play well enough. If I'd have played better, I'd have made it. Yeah. Um, 
when you come back and see the way the Arkansas just goes, I guess they had one bad year in 2016, but just the consistency of the program, you obviously were, were a big part of that when you played too. You know, to see that we went to the World Series in 09, and then it seems like we've been, we went in 012, and then we went a, again, and it's just, it's, it's almost like, you know, if we don't make it now, we're in contention to make it every year. So it's almost just like, and people don't understand. You know, it's not like football, baseball. It's almost like the Razorbacks have built a dynasty because we're there constantly in the running for the World Series. And, you know, baseball is not quite like football and all that. To make it in baseball, not only you got to be a great team, but you got to have the ball fall your way every now and then. And, uh, and to do that, you got to minimize all the mistakes. And what, what the Razorbacks have been able to do as a baseball program, to me, has been as impressive as any in the country. I was thinking about this the other day. I remember you had a long hitting streak and it got broken by a bang bang play at first. Do you remember that? <laughs> I do. Uh, I had the hitting streak at the worst time possible. It was against. Uh, it was right in the smack dab in the middle of the year, and I actually hit the ball really well that game and got no hits. But uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Do you remember the number he got? I want to say it was like 24, and then I finished basically the rest of the year. But I remember thinking, if, <laughs> I was thinking the other day, if there was replay, they might have overturned that. You might have been called safety. Do you ever <laughs> yeah. think about that, if they'd had replay back then? Not till now. <laughs> or what, what do you think? You, you, I mean, do you still think, all these years later, you still think you were safe? Because I remember thinking, wow, I think you're safe. You know, I always got hung up on, I hit three line drives that game that were right at people more than I did that particular play. But that one always sticks out in your mind because it's like, oh, what well, was, you know, that could have been it. But, you know, that was probably the worst ball I hit all game. So, you know, the three line drives is what really – sets in my mind on that game. Do you, do you miss playing ball, or do you feel like, hey, I had a great run, I got a great contract, I got to play a lot of years of pro ball, it's just time? Or Man, stuff like this makes me think about stuff like that, but uh, man, I, miss, I miss playing at the same time because I still get in there and hit in the cage and feel like I can still do it a little bit. But, uh, I mean, any player, I'm sure guys from the 79 team, they miss playing. I mean, I miss playing. It's, uh, it's just memories now. So, well, what, what age kids do you work with? Primarily, uh, right now, I mean, I work from about eight years old to I do have some kids that are 16 years old or 17. So it's just kind of been word of mouth and what gets out there and what doesn't. So you're thinking about getting in, trying to get into high school coaching or college coaching, or maybe you know, I wouldn't, coaching or? a hitting coach, a hitting coach at the college level, I think would be very fun because the way my careers went, I really think that I could help at the collegiate level too. But you know, you never know where things are going to take you. I'm pretty happy working with the kids I'm working with now.